As crazy as the last 24-ish hours have been for the Tennessee Titans, the moves are not yet done being made. More moves are going to come after the initial 53-man roster and the cuts that go along with it. We'll break down all of those cuts, but make sure you're locked in for more Titans news as it happens. Trades began uh, yesterday. Malik Willis goes to Green Bay for a seventh-round pick, clearing up one spot quarterback at least that was then taken by Ernest Jones the fourth we broke that down earlier today with us getting the details in the middle of filming a 2026 sixth round pick plus Jones for a 2026 fifth round pick I don't know what member of the Rams organization's dog that Ernest Jones kicked but that was a steal from Tennessee all right some players who have been waived these guys we mentioned yesterday most of them they have to go through waivers uh, before they can make it to the practice squads. Sam Shee, Steven Stilianos, Brian Dooley, Keaton Ellis, Matthew Jackson, Thomas Rush, Mikel Jones, Tay Gowan, Ty Zetner, and then the shocker of the day for Tennessee. The organization moving on from Caleb Farley, perhaps hoping that somebody claims him and thus taking the remainder of his base salary off their books. Tennessee went ultra light in terms of the numbers at the cornerback position choosing to move on from Farley. Would you have done that move for the talented, but just, I think maybe it might go down as one of the all-time, what if he could have stayed healthy players? Would you have cut him? Why for yes and for no in the comments. More players waived. Quinton Bohanna, not overly surprising. He was maybe like your 60th player, give or take. Mason Kinsey, Anthony Kendall, Isaiah Eiton, uh, the defensive tackle. Jabari Small and Hassan Haskins do not make it at the running back position. Gabe Judy Lally, the corner. Trey Avery, the corner. Shaheem Carter, the defensive back, does not make it. Khalid Duke, the edge rusher, gets cut. Eric Garor ends up getting waived. Kiaris Jackson, the wide receiver, offers some return value, but I think Kiaris Jackson, Jaquan Jackson kind of become a bit redundant with their roles. Robert Javier is released. The other kicker, Braden Navarson, no surprise there, moved on from. Three other players who were waived, Bryce Oliver, Cole Spencer, and Leroy Watson the fourth, uh, maybe as a practice squad candidate for Tennessee. Three players waived slash injured. They will revert to IR if, when, in almost every case, they clear waivers. Treshawn Harrison, JoJo Doman, Kyle Phillips, who, man, another guy just cannot seem to stay healthy. Four veterans who were cut. These players are not subject to waivers. If they want to, they can sign with any practice squad around the NFL right now. Draw Christian, Abdullah Anderson, Corey Levin, and Shane Ray. All four players released. Maybe one or two of them end up on the practice squad. Who was the most surprising roster cut for you this year? Was it Caleb Farley or somebody else? Let me know in the comment section of today's show who the most surprising roster cut this year was. So for the time being, the roster is now set at 53 players, but the possibility of moves remain. Waiver Wire will process all the claims that you can potentially make. We'll process noon Eastern on Wednesday, so you've got possibility for traction and action there. The Titans did, by the way, before we get into the actual 53-man roster breakdown, it did put two players on IR. Chance Campbell, the linebacker. TK McClendon, the defensive lineman. Campbell's season is over not sure about McClendon. He could potentially be brought back down the line, but decent chance he just stays out for the entire season. But Tennessee putting those two players on injured reserve. All right, with the trade of Malik Willis, two quarterbacks make the Titans roster. No real surprise. You guys are both going to make it. Will Levis and Mason Rudolph find their way onto the 53. Probably going to search for a practice squad quarterback, so stay tuned for that. We'll break down the practice squad once we get it. But that is going to be the rotation at quarterback for Tennessee. Today's show is made possible by Factor Meals. Look, today is a very busy day. Tomorrow is a very busy day. Thursday, I don't have time. And I would like to cut a little bit, and I'm working on cutting a little bit of the dad bod weight there. That's why I love Factor Meals. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply just eat well-balanced. Head to FactorMeals.com slash TitansChat50 and use code TitansChat50 
to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code TITANSCHAT50 at factormeals.com slash TITANSCHAT50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. That URL and promo code factormeals.com slash TITANSCHAT50 will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. The running back room, and it probably is more of a 1A versus 1B for Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears. They're going to handle all of the workload. Julius Chestnut will help out predominantly, I believe, on special teams. The wide receiver room, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, Tyler Boyd, Traylon Burks, Nick Westbrook-Akina, uh, Jaquan Jackson, nothing overly surprising there as far as I'm concerned. Colton Dow will stay on the pup list, which might be there for a little bit. Uh, a bit of a surprise to me for the tight end room, Chig Conquo, Josh Wiley, Thomas Odukoya, Nick Vanette, and David Martin Robinson all make the 53-man roster. So Tennessee going extra heavy at the tight end position in a way I didn't necessarily expect them to do. They, they go deeper than I thought they would at that spot as they keep five tight ends in the end with Chico Conquo, Wiley, and everyone else. Great success story for Thomas, by the way. International player path program to the active roster. You'll love to see it. Offensive line, bit of a, some, some surprises uh, on here. They went young. J.C. Latham, Nicholas Petitfriere, Jalen Duncan, and John Ojoku are your tackles. Dylan Radins, Peter Scranzi, Andrew Rupsich. Good for him, by the way, the guard. Daniel Brunskill is going to be your first guard active. You probably carry four active uh, tackles in the four interior offensive linemen on game days. But younger movement along the offensive line. The right side depth and the talent there does, does remain a concern for me. Before we get to the defense here, rate the overall Titans roster for the 2024 season. Scale it for me from 1 to 99. It's Madden style. Let me know in the comments. With Marlon Davidson out for the year and TK McClendon Jr. on IR, Tennessee carrying four defensive linemen, Sebastian Joseph Day, Tavondre Sweat, Jeffrey Simmons, Keandre Coburn. Could be a sleeper uh, you know, waiver wire claim to monitor there for Tennessee. The edge depth, Harold Landry, Arden Key, Jalen Harrell, Rashad Weaver, Caleb Murphy. So they do keep both Murphy and Weaver in addition to Landry, Key, and Jalen Harrell. Part of the reason why Tennessee is only carrying nine defensive linemen in terms of edges and defensive uh, interior guys, they went incredibly deep at inside linebacker. And I wonder if another move is to come here. Could they put someone like Cedric Gray on IR? Because they traded for Ernest Jones the, the fifth, or the fourth, excuse me. They have Kenneth Murray, Jack Gibbons, Cedric Ray, James Williams, Otis Reese, and Luke Gifford. Plus, they already got Garrett Wallow and, and Chance Campbell on IR. Seven linebackers, I'd be surprised if come week one, they still had seven. Six is a lot, let alone seven. But they're going to blitz those boys, I think, a decent amount. The cornerback room, also very thin. Chidabe Wouzier, Legereus Sneed, Roger McCreary, and Jarvis Brownlee Jr., just four. Now, I think part of the reason why you're okay going four corners is you have some safety flex. Elijah Molden can go back and play corner if he needs to. So, you also could look for a waiver wire claim. Maybe you bring back you know, someone to the active roster once you do the, your roster gymnastics and put some guys on IR. But your safeties are Armani Hooker, Quandre Jit Diggs, Jamal Adams, Mike Brown, and Elijah Molden. So, mostly expected there. Uh, Mike Brown maybe is your... Maybe he was your 50th player. I feel like one of those linebackers and tight ends are 52 and 53 for you on the roster. Again, I think, think you'll see some more traction coming at that front. The special teams unit, it's what every person who has ever watched a snap of Titans football thought it was going to be. Nick Folk, or even just like look at the roster. Nick Folk, Ryan Stonehouse, Morgan Cox are the three core special teamers. And before we go, look, it is a it, it, it's crappy day for a lot of NFL players You know, being told, you're just not good enough. That, that sucks. And I do want to end on a positive note because, you know, we treat this as just a business and sometimes we forget about the human element. Type good luck for all the players who got cut today and their next stops, which could very well end up being the Titans practice squad anyway.